Hey guys, welcome back to my Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll teach you how to Hey guys, welcome what the f Wait, hold on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to add fake camera movement to your static videos in Premiere Pro. Adding motion to your videos can make a static shot look a lot less boring, create depth, and add story. You don't believe me? Let me show you some examples. This is panning to the right. This is sliding to the right. This is tilting up. This is sliding up. This is push in. This is pull out. If you want to learn more about basic camera movement, I'll post the link down below. But what if you only have static shots? Can you fix it? Let's find out. Alright, so let's fire up Premiere Pro and get started. So I've placed four different clips here on the timeline. Let me play them for you. As you can see, they are all static shots. I'll try to add fake camera movements to these clips. Let's start with the first clip. Place the playhead in the middle of the clip, then go to Effects Controls Panel. Let's scale it up. Let's also move it all the way to the left because that's where I want the movement to end. Next is we need to click the stopwatch icon right here to add a keyframe. Then we drag this keyframe all the way to the right. We click this undo icon to add another keyframe. Clicking this just reverse the clip back to its original position. Then we drag it all the way to the left. Let's move the playhead to the start of the clip and play it to see the movement. Alright, as you can see here, we've added a simple slide to the right movement to this clip. Let's make the movement much smoother. Right click on the first keyframe, go to Time Interpolation, select Ease Out. Then, right click on the last keyframe, Go to Time Interpolation again, select Ease In. When you do this, the keyframes turn into like an hourglass icon. Let's play the clip. It looks much better than the static shot, don't you think? Let's move on to the second clip and add a different camera movement. We move the playhead in the middle of the clip, go to Effects Controls Panel, Scale it to 100, then drag the clip all the way down to the edge. We click the stopwatch icon to generate a keyframe, then move it at the beginning of the clip. Then we move the clip all the way up, then drag the keyframe to the end of the clip. Now let's add ease out and ease in to the first and last keyframes respectively. Let's play it. Now that looks professional. We've just added a simple slide up movement to this clip. If you want to make this movement faster, we just need to move the keyframes closer to each other like so. Alright, let's go over to the third clip. This time you want to start the movement a little later instead at the beginning of the clip. We do the exact same steps we did earlier but this time, we just need to move the first keyframe to the position where we want the movement to start. Like so. Now let's see the effect. That looks awesome. And we're down to the last example. Let's challenge ourselves and make a more complex movement. We move the playhead to the middle of the clip, scale it up, position the frame to our liking, click the stopwatch icon to generate keyframes, 
Then remove the playhead before those two keyframes. Reposition it again. And scale it down a little bit. Then remove those two keyframes all the way at the beginning of the clip. Okay, let's see what we have. Don't forget to always add ease out and ease into your keyframes. Let me do some minor tweaking and speed this up. Alright, so this is the final movement that I came up with. Isn't this amazing? We've just made a boring static shot look like more interesting and dynamic. I'll export these clips and show you the before and after. And you be the judge which one you think looks better. And that's how you add fake camera movement to your video clips. You can also add movement to talking head videos like this. Do you notice the frame moving? By the way, when you plan on doing this method, make sure to use a 4K or 2.7K footage especially if you want to resize the clip. But you can also try it on a 1080p but make sure you don't scale it up too much. Did you find this tip helpful? Leave a comment down below. And again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It will really help out my channel a lot. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What the? F Wait. What's wrong with you? I'm acting.